explaining everything that's been going on y'all everything that's been going on this week here in texas y'all here where we live and just basically explaining to y'all like why we are not on the right schedule with posting and everything because i know y'all missed your girl mini i know y'all miss your girl mini we look e you already know but i am back y'all i'm back i'm better i thank god for everything right now and yeah, y'all, right now, this is basically me, my fresh face. Just woke up, you know, eyes, crusty breath state. I'm about to brush my teeth and wash my face real quick before I go ahead and tell y'all the situation and what's been really going on, y'all. Just make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe to the gang, y'all, because you know you gotta be dedicated to the gang. Yeah! And also follow me on all social medias. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. You know I already know how I go. Everything will be down in the description below. And also roll to 50K, y'all. Roll to 50K. I see we almost at 20. Let's go ahead and get to 50K. Like I was telling y'all. And um, yeah, just know your girl back. And let me go ahead and brush my teeth and wash my face because I feel so bulky and nasty right now talking to y'all. So I'll just be right back. Back, fresh, clean face, clean TV. You, you see that? You see that? So, ooh, I don't know where I want to start off at because, like, it's just been a lot throughout the week. So, it's just, it just was a lot, y'all. Like, I've never been in this type of situation before, and then, like, when we was in this situation. It was kind of like um, shocking to us and like, you know, it just opened my mind up to like other things that go that go on to like the people who always get this type of stuff going on. Or like when hurricanes come and you know, and stuff like that. I was just thinking about a whole bunch of stuff. You know, your girl just, my was just going crazy. But I just start off with the first day. Like the first day when everything like took place, I thought we was good, we was set. You know what I'm saying? Because with me, I prepared early before the snow came, you know, for y'all who go be like, well y'all didn't prepare and stuff before the snow came. I prepared before the snow came, snow came. A lot of people did, a lot of people did prepare and um, you know, went out and got, got groceries and stuff before the snow got here, you know what I'm saying? Everybody went out and got groceries, you know, juices, everything they um, needed. Um, so yeah, I did prepare for that type of stuff, but I didn't expect the power situation to go out, like the, the power out at all. Like I didn't expect that to happen at all, y'all. So like the first day it was cool until that night came and the power went out, y'all. The power went out and it was like two in the morning, but I was like, it's fine, it's gonna be back up in the dawn tomorrow, you know, in the morning or whatever. So I didn't really trip. So like, uh, you know, uh, the next morning came and woke up and we saw it wasn't on and it kind of shocked me because like, you know, usually when the power cut off, by the time you wake up in the morning, it's gonna be back on or whatever. You get what I'm saying? I've been through it a couple times back in my hometown. So it wasn't on y'all, like it wasn't on. So that would have me thinking like, okay, Maybe they go cut it on later today. So let's just wait. Let's just see what we could do. Um, other than that, let's just eat some chips and stuff that we bought. You get what I'm saying? Let's eat that right now until they cut the power back on. You know where it's on for good. So um, during that time, we basically, you know, we happy snow here because we don't get snow. So you know, your girl happy that snow is here. So you know, I put on my gear or whatever and I saw played in the snow and stuff. You know, had a little fun. You get what I'm saying? And then we come back in the house, you know, I realized that like the power wasn't cutting on and stuff like that. But what scared me the most is that my phone lost service. It's like, it wasn't just the power out, the, even the phone um, people like Sprint, T-Mobile, all this, they towers was down and stuff like that. So we wasn't getting like no cellular, cellular data service. You had to stand by the window to even make a call and everything, y'all. So like, that was scary for me, so 
when we figured out that we wasn't gonna get no power and stuff like that, um, and we was really, really getting hungry, and it was the first day, y'all. We was really, really getting hungry. We um, we left. We actually got in the car and we risked it driving. You know what I'm saying? Because we wanted some food and stuff. And y'all, like, y'all just don't understand, like. The Walmart lines, all, any grocery store that was open. The Walmart that's behind our house, they didn't even have power. Everything over here in this area was powered out, like nothing. No gas stations, no nothing. If you needed some, you have to drive like all the way out, all the way out. So like, the Walmart behind us, like, it was not, um, they had no power, but they were still going to let people in. So like, the lines were super, super long. And it was super long because... People did not expect to, the power to be out like it was. Like, um, yeah, it was, it was just a lot. Like, people didn't expect, yeah, they didn't expect the power to be out like it was. Like I just said, well, eat, talk, oh God, what's wrong with you? So, like, I was feeling bad because, you know, um, well, I, did, I didn't feel bad right now because I thought the power was going to come back on. But it's like, uh, people... People was trying to get food, like dry foods to eat. So me and Taylor was riding around because we was trying to look for some food. And I'll tell y'all, the roads were super, super icy. I'm talking about the whole time while we were driving, we probably slid like at least nine to ten times. And it was so scary. Like, I was scared for my life, for real, for real. Because, like, you could be driving, like, five miles per hour. You're still going to slide just because the ice was on the road. And, you know, our tires and stuff, it's not built for that type of stuff. You get what I'm saying? So, like, that stuff was, like, really, really scary. Like, really scary, y'all. Sorry if I keep looking up and, up and down. It's just, that's just, that's just me how I be talking and stuff. But, yeah, like, it was just really, really scary. So, that whole entire day, the power did not cut on. So, like, it was, like, an entire day without power. But we ended up calling a friend and they power was on, so we we was able to, you know, make it over there. They stay like, they stay like 20 minutes, but the drive ended up being like 40 minutes because, you know, the ice on the road, the interstates were blocked off, so you had to drive. Like, it, it was just a lot, y'all, and it wasn't safe. It wasn't even safe to even drive at all. Like, I saw people crashing and everything. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't safe to drive at all. We drove over there, and we stayed over there for a day or whatever. And the next morning, we got a text that said the power was on. I'm telling y'all, soon we get home, you know, we home, we happy, we happy to be in our own home and stuff like that. You know, we finna cook it up and stuff, and stuff, because I didn't want the groceries that I bought to go to waste, you know, because I bought stuff that I could cook with and stuff when the stove was here. You get what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I would have to be going out to the stove. I could just cook what I got in my refrigerator when the stove was here. So, y'all came here, the power went out again and this time they was rotating the power so we was only we we'll only have power for like an hour they'll switch switch it off you know and they'll have to go to another area and get them power you know it like oh my god i feel so sad especially when it came to nighttime and stuff like that because you know you got families out here who have kids and stuff and like they smart though, cause like they went outside and they cooked on the grill. I would not think to go outside and cook on the grill. Like that would have been the least on my mind to do. So like, you had people cooking on the grill. You had um, the second day, I will say it was one food place that was open. And we did go to there, but the lines was like super, super long. Like I never seen like a crisis like this in like with my own eyes or like even being in it. You get what I'm saying? Like everybody was trying to go for food. You know, uh, even Whataburger was open. Whataburger was open. Y'all, they closed the next day because it was just too many people trying to get food. It was, yeah, it was a lot. Like, I was saying, like, they closed the next day because they ran out. Of, I want to say they ran out of supplies. And, you know, the trucks can't come yet because it's still ice on the road. So, y'all, it was just so many people out trying to get food. And you, sometimes when you get inside the grocery store, there's not no food in there at all. Like, no food. I know we went like a day without really like eating like a whole meal. We only ate like chips and stuff like that. But I'm grateful to even have that to eat. Because instead of nothing at all. Because you know you probably got people. Well I know you do have people who probably didn't get a chance to eat nothing at all. Because everything was gone. And you know like. Y'all it was, it was just a lot. And then I know a couple of y'all been watching TikTok. Seeing people you know. Um. 
pipes and stuff um bursting and stuff this stuff was real i didn't even know to drip my faucets so that's why i came and i had to drip my faucets because i didn't want no pipes to burst over here because oh my god y'all that would have been a, a whole disaster so yeah y'all like people pipes was bursting and stuff like that that's just a lot of stuff going on and it's like um in different areas the power wasn't wasn't out and stuff like that and y'all probably think like okay why y'all didn't go book a hotel and stuff like that you know the hotel is already filled on the side where the power wasn't out and stuff like that and you know and then um we have like company with us too that we let come over here because where they was at they power the power went out over there and i was like okay i'd rather for us to be together why the power out instead of y'all like being like out in the public or whatever and stuff like that so you know it was crazy situations like that um going on y'all and i would say it really scared me but it actually woke me up too so like now the next time if I hear about any snow coming, anything, I'm about to dry food, everything. I'm going to buy me a, um, a, I'm going to just be more prepared for it, more prepared. Because this time, I wasn't, I was prepared, but I wasn't all the way prepared to where the, if the power go out, I'll still be good. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, our, um, we can use our phones, like I was saying, could use our phones. We have to drive out to find service to use our phone to contact our parents to let them know that we okay and we also had people who to checked up on us to make sure we was okay as well as far as food or anything or you know anything that we needed so basically what we had to do was we had to get used to like the power cutting on and off like rotating and stuff so yeah like it rotated for like three days three days straight it rotated like you get your little hour or whatever all right shut off for like three hours come back hour you know you know, you just had to be there. You had to, whatever you needed to do, get it done. Like, every time the power cut on, we always charge our phones, warm something up in the microwave, and, yeah, and, like, you know, get us together and stuff like that. So, we'll be good, we'll eat, and then when the power did cut off, we, um, entertained ourselves, basically, like, play games and stuff like that. Um, we do have stuff like power packs and stuff like that, but uh, I did charge those up so we could have. But we, like, play games and, you know, um... Just talk, you know, do do regular little fun stuff, like, you know, you gotta do regular little fun stuff. But, yeah, that's basically what we did. I bet y'all, this is like the first time y'all ever seen me like super, super serious because, I don't know, you girl always goofing around, but I know this is probably the first time y'all ever seen me super, super serious and stuff like that. But, I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that God kept us safe. Um, I am very thankful for the people who checked up on us and stuff like that and y'all i'm just grateful we survived you know what i'm saying and i'm grateful i'm, I'm thankful that the people not thankful oh, thankful grateful get all of the time all of the time all of the same that point but i happy that the other families was able to survive and stuff like that they was figuring out different ways how to cook and stuff outside because you know your girl wouldn't think like that but yeah i put this on my lips because i see my lips turning white we out my day, y'all look, he is so serious. She ain't playing no, now y'all know when I'm real, real serious. I don't play no game. I tell y'all what's the real, real deal around here. You get what, you get what I'm saying? Now I'm back goofing, you get what I'm saying? I'm just happy to be back on the camera because I miss y'all. I miss y'all, man. I miss y'all. And I know y'all miss me too. You know, mini game, y'all. Mini game, midget game, team midget. You already know, I know. Y'all miss me. Y'all miss me and I miss y'all. I miss y'all very, very much, and you know. I was able to drop a video during the thing. I was able to drop a video. I tell y'all, I was out there when they said that video was already up. I dropped that thing for y'all. So just so you know, because you know, I, I know y'all missed your girl, you whatever. Whatever you get what I'm saying. But just know your girl back. You know the power on, it stayed on. Like, now, now last night, it stayed on for like, I said a good 10 hours, then that boom, that mud shut off. And I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it, I think it's on for good now, y'all. I think it's on for good now. Hallelujah. <laughs> I think it's on for good now. So, your girl about to be dropping. You already know that. Finna be dropping some bangers. I'm finna be dropping some bangers on ENT Nation, y'all. You know, I got a couple things with my head that I want to do on TED. So, you know. But I ain't gonna talk about that over here because you know we mini guy, mini guy, mini guy. So yeah, um, y'all comment down below what y'all feel about the same situation or comment down below 
um what's your thoughts about the Texas situation so yeah I feel like I feel like this did open like Texas people open Texas people mind up to like be more not be more prepared because you know they don't we don't really get weather like this at all so like um I probably like the power company is probably like more open-minded to it now so like if something ever happened like this again I feel like they'll be more prepared or whatever so I would say it was a lesson learned too because you know it it, it it helped me to know more about what I need to do in these type of situations you get what I'm saying but yeah um that's pretty much it comment like i said comment down below your thoughts comment down below stuff that you saw that i probably didn't see because i be reading the comments and i heart every comment you know what i'm saying so y'all go ahead and drop no comments down below like this video like i said roll to 50k and yeah i'm gone y'all peace out